Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on hepatomegaly. Hepatomegaly describes an enlarged liver, usually larger than 13 cm in diameter from the superior to inferior border. Hepatomegaly is commonly found using percussion over the chest and abdomen with palpation of the lower liver border. This is the table categorizing the associated conditions into a few groups. It can be due to infective causes, such as infective mononucleosis, hepatitis A and B, malaria, liver cysts, or liver abscess. Infiltrative causes include sarcoidosis, hemochromatosis, and amyloidosis. Neoplastic causes are hepatocellular carcinoma, tumor metastasis, hemangioma, leukemia, lymphoma, and hematoma. Metabolic causes such as fatty liver and storage diseases. And also vascular causes like heart failure or Bud Chiari syndrome. All these can cause hepatomegaly. For its mechanism, it is mainly due to increased vascular engorgement, inflammation, deposition and expansion due to non-liver cells or materials, or a combination of all above. Let's look at the pathophysiology for some of the causes. For congestive heart failure, pressure backs up into the venous system, due to ineffective filling or forward outflow, leading to a congested and engorged liver. For infective causes, inflammation and swelling of the liver is the principal mechanism in many of the infective pathologies. Inflammation may also contribute to other non-infective causes of hepatomegaly. Note that in hepatitis, the liver may be enlarged, or over time, become scarred and shrunken. For infiltrative causes, infiltrative disorders such as sarcoidosis and hemochromatosis lead to the deposition of material in the liver, increasing its size. Similarly, primary or secondary malignancy enlarges the liver via tumor cell proliferation and inflammation. In vascular causes, the Bud Chiari syndrome involves an occlusion of veins draining the liver to the heart. From the hepatic venules, through the hepatic vein, to the right atrium. The occlusion may be primary, or secondary to an underlying procoagulant state, such as lupus anticoagulants, cancer, myeloproliferative disorders, drugs, and so on. The backup of pressure from the blockage back to the liver causes hepatic engorgement. For its sign value, percussion of the liver span is highly operator-dependent, and does not always provide an accurate estimation of liver size. Studies have shown mediocre sensitivity, 61 to 92% and poor specificity, 30-43%. to 43%. In using percussion to determine the size of the liver, the reliability is therefore tenuous. In summary, percussing for size of the liver is unlikely to be accurate. However, if the liver is felt on deep palpation below the coastal margin, it is more than likely enlarged. That's all for this video. Thank you.